When you come upon Favorite Rock for the first time, this will be the side you approach it from. That moss varies uh, year to year. Sometimes there'll be a lot more, it'll be a lot thicker. And sometimes people scramble up this side. You can see marks where uh, moss has been kicked, or uh, a heel mark right there. So sometimes people scramble down here, and what you could do is pick up the moss, place it back where it goes, and uh, sometimes it'll, uh, it'll re-adhere, so, so you could build it back up. Favorite rock has a face on it, and I think that this counts as functional beauty. Um, you know, it's a random image, but uh, it, it changes, it gives a kind of uh, a spirit almost to it, and the function, I think, is when I look at it, it sparks my imagination. Um, it, it also kind of makes it me treat this rock as if it's a, uh, a bean. Uh, you know, and that may sound hippie, but uh, if you consider something as, uh, uh, you know, like a person, like this is an animal or a person, um, you'll want to uh, give it more respect, you'll want to care for it, you'll want to clean up around it, because it's not just a rock, you know? I see a face. It's a personality. So if you want to get on Favorite Rock, um, you'd walk around to the side here. This is an excellent spot to get a foot up, hit here, and then you hit here, and then you walk up to the upper platform. Um, but if you're uh, more patient and you walk around here, you have a, uh, a ramp. And even that ramp, as you come up to it, you can see there's a spot for your foot here. And then next one, there's a little ridge here. You get your foot in that. And then you come up here. And your foot, next foot's here. And like right here is an excellent spot to grab a hold. So you can pull yourself up and get up quite safely. Walk up to the top. And when you look down, you see it has a kind of a gentle slope. So the functional beauty here is that uh, you can lay out and look straight up at the sun dappled leaves and in the winter straight into the sky. Um, it has a nice uh, seat right here, um, real flat. You could set your coffee there actually. Now right here where these leaves are, it's more functional beauty. Both here and here will collect water. There'll be a nice pool of water here. And I know it's good water because the Aquila is very picky and he'll drink out of this. Oh, there's Aquila scratches. So some functional beauty there like the... Uh, <laughs> the uh, these bowls are perfect for resting your feet in when you're sitting. They catch your feet and they don't slide out. And uh, in wet weather, they collect water for your thirsty dog. Let's hop down. So, Favorite Rock is about, at its tallest point, about six feet tall. Right here is uh, just about as tall as I am. This little overhang right here. In, uh, in warm weather, uh, sunlight normally penetrates straight down uh, around noon, uh, hits Favorite Rock, uh, Favorite Rock warms up, and then afternoon you'll come here and you'll take off your shoes and you'll sit on Favorite Rock and the radiant heat uh, will, will warm uh, your feet. It'll almost feel like, uh, it'll almost feel like it's living uh, because it's a different temperature than the surroundings. You'll get on it and you'll feel it's... Uh, it's natural heat. It's Guatemala-less. Um, messing up that line from the birdcage. Guatemala-ness? Oh, well. Get watch the birdcage. Favorite rock is also in a bowl. This surrounds it right here. And uh, so it makes like this wall. 
of green. Uh, and the function here is I could sit here on favorite rock, face into this wall, and Aquila could race up and down, go up there like 50, 75 yards, but still be within sight. And he could race all through there. And the reason he races through there is because it's full of mice through here. And that makes Aquila really active. And you've probably seen in my videos here when I'm sitting here. And you'll see Aquila go, whoom, whoom, whoom. And I think that adds some sort of uh, kind of a fun aspect, a fun activity in the background that keeps Keela entertained. Uh, if you're tired of looking at my mug, uh, you can look in the background for Aquila sightings. Yeah, favorite rock. When it, uh, the moss here though, uh, while beautiful, uh, it has a defensive function in that uh, when it gets wet, it's really slippery. Uh, so that's that's when you really have to use those uh, those grips So when I do when I get on favorite rock, um, I'll bring a book I'll bring uh, music. I'll bring something to drink um, But sometimes I'll just sit there and stare into the woods um, And just let my mind go blank a lot of times I think that the food and the water and the book actually is a way to kind of settle myself down and get to the point where I could just finally uh, put those stuff down, turn off the music, set my book down, my stomach's calm, uh, I feel cool, and I'll just stare into the woods and uh, let my mind go blank. And uh, favorite Watt rock works really well for that. Um, oh, another thing, uh, not many bugs uh, climb up to the top of favorite rock. Um, though I know there's a lot of bugs in this area, I just I don't get pestered when I'm up here, which is interesting. So, favorite rock. I think favorite rock is beautiful. Though I don't think it would be as beautiful if it didn't have the function. If it didn't provide, uh, you know, a couple different ways to climb up it, which are fun. Uh, room for me and uh, my dog uh, to relax on it together. We've both just been camped out on top of favorite rock. Um... Uh, the really interesting little pools of water that form there and I, I keep them clean uh, like I pick stuff out of it and uh, sometimes we get there and it's just nothing but pure water in there and uh, yeah well, I, don't, I think without all these functions um, without its its temperature changing uh, moss uh, changes so its appearance changes without its spirit its face um, I don't think if it had these functions I would love it as much as I do I think I'd walk by it and appreciate it, because like, look right here. I mean, this is a funky rock. It's like almost like an axe head. And you could climb on it. Um, I mean, there's stuff, ferns and stuff growing on up there, but uh, it doesn't provide uh, as much as favorite rock, or it, it probably would be a favorite rock. There's one like that over there as well, another little monolith of a rock. Yeah, and uh, I think that sums up Favorite Rock, but right before we leave, let's look at Favorite Cave. There's Favorite Cave. I always imagine I live in there. I did a, I did a pretend video called uh, uh, We See My House and Car, I think uh, was the title, and I pretended I was coming out of there first thing in the morning. I'm kind of a fan of favorite things, too. I have a kind of a, uh, I don't know, almost an attention span that uh, there's only a certain amount of things that I could really give focus to. Uh, so I start terming things as favorite, uh, almost to remind myself that this deserves my focus. And I'm not to forget to visit often and to always take a bag of trash with me when I leave to pick up around here and to always put a couple clumps of moss back on it. Um, and, uh, and then when I'm sitting on it and suddenly uh, an hour goes by and it feels like I've been sitting there for a day and I feel calm, I remember the value. I remember why it's my favorite. Favorite rock people.